Alright, so uh, this video I'm going to show you all the components that I have and the essential build that I'm going to be making in the next few weeks. So uh, let's start off. I just got everything in, so to begin I got the uh, motherboard, uh, Gigabit X58A UD3R. And uh, I chose this one because it has the fast, the faster RAM and uh, supports the i7, SLI, and uh, especially the 6 gigabit per second hard drive. So that was what really attracted me to it. Uh, next thing is two GTX 470s. Uh, hopefully run them in SLI and water cool them later on. And uh, power everything. A nice big 1000 watt power supply, thanks to Corsair. And also from Corsair, DDR3 2000 RAM. Uh, it's going to be three sticks of two gigabytes, so six gigs total. Uh, right next to it, we have the radiator with the fans already installed. I uh, kind of got ahead of myself, a little excited. But as you can see here, nice radiator, three. 120 millimeter fans and the fans are mass cool 120 millimeter fans also got a nice little fan controller from ultra uh, here we have DVD drive one terabyte and the six gigabit per second 120 gigabyte solid state drive so it would have pushed the 6 gigabit per second to its limit and I was saying I was water cooling so here we have the processor cooler the from EK Supreme and then right under it for the GTX 470 uh, little buttons and temperature monitors finally some cooling pumps and the coolant and right now I'll show you guys the actual design. Okay, so that you guys saw all the components, here are the drawings that I did. Uh, this is my first case that I drew up and ended up turning this one down because of the size. It's unnecessarily large and uh, I don't have the tabletop for that. As you can see here, I have everything drawn in. You have the radiator, motherboard, video card, everything. Uh, I even used the liquor bottle to reduce my reservoir, but ended up turning this one down just because it's sheer size. Alright, this is case number two, and uh, at the end I ended up turning this one down also. And the main reason I turned this down was because I thought it looked like one of those Bible holders that you would see in a church somewhere, or something of that manner. So, ended up turning that one down. And also it has this big beam that has to go in the back to support it, or else the acrylic will just topple over. And yeah, so this one ended up getting turned down. Okay, so here is the final drawing that I have, which is a third and final one. I was able to actually come up with a design that I like, and uh, it's actually plausible to do it, and I actually had space for it. So here we have a radiator and everything on this side, and the reservoir is built into the tank vertically. There's even a nice little hole here for cables to pass by, and I'll put some more videos as things come along.